Hello YouTubers, it's me John. Uh, today I want to show you a simple mounting system that I have devised for installing the Mojo in my pickup truck engine compartment. Okay, what I want to show you is this uh, gasket. Uh, I forget what size it is, but it's a, a, it's a reduction gasket. It's 4 inch. Okay, 4 inch clay to plastic uh, reducer coupler. Basically the mojo fits inside of it perfectly and uh, it uh, prevents arcing with the uh, chassis body. So let me show you how I'm going to install it in the truck. I'm using this piece of wood basically as a platform just just to show you just just to show you how I'm gonna do it I'm not this piece of wood isn't gonna exist inside the truck but what I did was I drew a circle of the of the interior of the uh, gasket and uh, I, I screwed I drilled some holes and I screwed some bolts in like a star pattern and that fit on the inside of the gasket let me show you for a side angle. As you can see, the the tightening band. There's two tightening bands, one on the top and one on the bottom. You dr you're gonna drill the screws in, basically to the height, just above the height of the bottom metal band, so that when you put the gasket over the screws as such, like that and then you tighten it up then it's locked onto those bolts or them screws whatever and it's not going to go anywhere okay so that's a good mounting system for you and I'll show you why I'm going to use the top of the mojo as because I I've got it the other half assembled already but it's you know hemispherical but the mojo is spherical, okay? When put together. When the mojo sits inside the gasket like that, it uh, it's gonna have a tendency when it's when it's in the engine compartment, you might not be able to find a completely level space or area or platform. Like right here okay it's level you know in a perfect environment you got a level platform to work with but inside your truck you might have to bolt it to the side of a wheel well which will put it at an angle you know as such and that way what what this gasket allows you to do is to manipulate the orientation of the mojo to face up as long as the angle of deviation isn't radical, you know, you know, it's going to give you about probably 40 degrees to work with. If, you know, so that you always have the top of the mojo facing up. All right, that's all I wanted to show you. If anyone was wondering how would would be a good way to mount a mojo. Okay. Now in the truck, when you're actually practical use, you're not going to be using metal bolts because they stick up too high on the interior of the gasket. So you'll use nylon bolts. These nylon bolts will do the trick. That way you won't arc out. You don't want to use, you don't want any kind of metal to metal connection on your mojo. So use uh, use these nylon bolts and there won't be any electrical connection with the body of the mojo itself. All right. Okay, well, one last thing I want to mention. I'll use cellars. People building cells, whether they're HHO cells or Joe cells or mojos, know the difference. All right, there's a there's a difference between an HHO generator that produces hydrogen 
and a Joe cell or a mojo that is used to accumulate orgone. Okay, quit using them interchangeably because they're two different animals. You're 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 messing everybody up. Okay, because they're completely different. All right, so use your noggin and quit confusing people. All right, you're you're either you're going down a path here of or orgone accumulation. Or you're going down the path of hydrogen accumulation. You're not doing both, all right? So decide what you're doing. Pick. All right, thanks.